Have you noticed the streets in your local neighborhood today look a bit more colorful than usual thanks to mobile vendors? And what do they offer? The pink peach blossom, the orange kumquat trees, and so that you can immerse yourself in the smell and taste of date. Definitely my tree. And you know, do not mistake it for apricot blossom. This is apricot blossom, and also sunflowers have been catching on these years too. Oh, also, because of the river network here, flowers are usually transported and sold to certain metropolises via boat, not by road as in the north. If you have been living in Vietnam for a while, you will definitely know that the five for trade is an indispensable part when take years or even during trade. Five types of fruits are harmoniously combined to make a feast of colors to offer to our ancestors. And therefore, the five fruit tray is a symbol of filial piety that we hold dear in our heart. Bananas? Mm. Well, in the South, we don't use bananas. So its pronunciation is similar to Yui, which rhymes with several unlucky words, for example, Jui Nyui or Jui Dao, which means that you will have an unsuccessful year. A traditional classic wish for a wealthy new year of the southern people is Gao Yu Du Sai Sung, or we call, uh, which means may our fortune be sufficient for the next year. So we use fruits that have their names consisting of these five words to display on a tray. It is custard apple, coconut, papaya, mango, and fig. As you can see, there is a vast array of fruits and dishes to be enjoyed during trade, but it would be incomplete without mentioning the sticky rice cake or the heart and soul trade. In the northern region, we call it Bánh Chung because it is made in a square shape to honor the Mother Earth. We southern people call it Bánh Tét. It is in form of a rounded pipe which many people believe represents vigor, prosperity and longevity. Mmm, it's really delicious. It's a little bit fatty. Also, a signature that meals in certain families cannot go without some juicy praised pork with bitter melon soup. Bitter melon soup? I've never heard of such a dish. I'm already used to dry bamboo shoot soup, crispy spring rolls, and jellied pork, which I believe is a possible translation for thịt dong in the northern region. Nah, just kidding. I really want a sip of the bitter melon soup and other typical traits of southern cuisine. All the delicious food of Tate would be meaningless if we don't get to come home with our families. So on the last day according to the lunar calendar, family members would return home from wherever they are and gather around the grand banquet. The cozy ambient separate union is priceless. Unlike the northern traditions, we have a tendency to relax at home or to go on a trip. As in the south, we believe that is a chance to let our hair down. In fact, that celebration is a personal activity, so I think that each family may choose to follow certain customs to fit their unique situations. Yes, Guang is absolutely right. Our short clip has not been able to cover all the discrepancies about this celebration in the two regions. So I really hope that you guys can share more by typing in the comment section below. And I hope that you enjoyed the show. So what distinctions have you noticed in other regions of Vietnam? Please share with us in the comment section below. Once again, I'm Guang. And my name is Kai Ming from the IELTS Workshop. Happy New Year and until next time. Bye.